वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स वी आर मीटिंग इन अनादर सेशन ऑफ डिजाइन टूल वर्कशॉप वी हैव ऑलरेडी कंप्लीटेड पावर पॉइंट एंड वर्ड नाउ वी आर डीलिंग विथ एक्सेल माइक्रोसॉफ्ट एक्सेल सो यू विल गेट दिस विंडो दिस स्क्रीन सिलेक्ट द ब्लैंक वर्कबुक ओके नाउ हियर इज ऑप्शन ऑफ साइन इन you can sign in with your college mail id otherwise you can leave it now up to your 12th you have used the excel some of you might have used it correct for which purpose you are using the microsoft excel what you are doing with it correct you are plotting graphs you are inserting some data correct it is used for data visualization correct okay. now same kind of options you can find here also like you are finding in the word am i right around 80 to 90 percent are similar things only this formula option is different for data we will see how these things are used now first of all this a b c d e f g all this alphabet you can see what are these things represents yes very good this represents columns correct now this vertical 1 2 3 4 4 yes correct my dear friend this is used for showing the rows now suppose i clicked here this cell represents the nomenclature of this cell is g3 column number g row number 3 g3 you can see it is available here written here correct now we will write some data we will insert some data here for example i am putting some random data serial number name marks okay any random thing don't take on you for example i am putting random data okay some names i will give correct some marks i will allot random marks okay now what we can do what we understand from here we have data in three columns a b and c and how many rows nine rows 1 2 9 correct first row represents the headings serial number name mark these are headings i can represent in the i can highlight them so i will select the bold it looks good correct now i have to plot the graph suppose i am selecting b and c column okay now i want to plot the graph where is the option for graph you can see here no i will select insert i will see yes here different types of charts are available which chart i want i will select that particular chart suppose i want this chart you can see here name came in x axis marks came in y axis for every chart there will be two axis x and y minimum two axis correct so first thing is x axis another thing is y axis correct so this is how we are going to plot the things now what else we can do we can use this as a calculator yes dear friend the excel can be used as a calculator how suppose i want to sum all this how i can do the sum i want to put sum here so i here i am writing total okay now here i in this cell cell number c10 i want the total of all so click equal symbol s u m sum type sum 
select it. Now it is asking numbers, which numbers you want to add. I will select these numbers which I have to add and close the bracket and press enter. Now this is the sum. Very simple. Now another thing you call is addition, add, correct? Now try with the formula add, whether it will work or not. Nothing is there with the add, correct? So this is the wrong. So you should know the right shortcut for a particular thing. For some summation there is a sum. Now average I want, okay? So I will try for average. Select equal to symbol, average A, V, yes average is available A, V. I typed only A, V, it is showing the command for average. Now where I want? From here to here. I select now it is showing C22 C9. What is C22 C9? All these numbers location. So the format you understood, first you will use the command bracket, then you will write the starting cell number, colon sign and the last cell number. Then close it and then enter this is the average. Now some shortcuts I will tell you. The shortcuts which are used in Word, those will work here also and there are some other shortcuts. For example, I have to select, I have to right click at now present where I am, I am in the C1 cell number, correct? Now I want to come into C11, very easy, select sir or in this scroll down. This is very easy why? Because there is only one sheet and very less number rows are available. But if there are plenty like 3000, 4000 then you have to scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. It will take lot of time, correct? So shortcut is select first wherever you want, then press control and down, control and down side arrow. See, directly it is bringing to the last option, correct? In the same way, press control and up, where it should go? Yes, in the C1 marks, correct? Now this is just moving from extreme points, correct? Now I want to select also, I want to select all. For example, I have to select from C2 to C11. What I will do? Control down, what happened? Not selected. So control down is only for coming down. When you want to select, then you have to select control, shift and down, correct? Now you can see the difference, it is selected. How you can observe the difference? The color, this is a different color, gray color and the outline is green color, correct? This represents that these cells are selected. These are some more shortcuts used in the Excel and you can use the Excel for making such kind of charts. This is a chart. Now here, when you select this chart, you can see here the plus symbol, chart element. Click on this. What are chart elements you can get here? Access title. See, when I keep, keep, keep my mouse here, the difference you can see in the chart. Excel title is represented in X and Y axis. Now it is removed. Data level, now it is showing data at every point. Now data table, table, everything you can see, error bar, correct? Now sir, they are changing, they are not there. Why? Because I have not selected here, just I kept my cursor. I will select here, check box. Now text, it is there. Data level, yes it is there. So you have to click on the check box to get the options presented on the chart, correct? Like this you can use the Excel. Excel is used for making different types of charts. So here different type of charts are available. Click on any one. Here many types of line charts are available, many types of histogram, many kinds of column charts, bar charts are available. Whatever you want, you can make it. You can make number of charts here. This is the main use of Excel as a calculator for making the charts. And there is formulas, you can put the if loop, for loop, all this looping also you can do by using the formulas options that you can see 
practice by your own okay so these are the things about microsoft excel i hope i am clear you practice all these things okay we will meet in the next class so good day everyone